we were talking about repeating decimals, but where some of the decimals don't repeat. So if we have something like 0.49856, and we'll say that there's a 28 that repeats after that. So it's 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, etc., forever. Okay, um, and there is an algebraic way to do this but it's a little bit complicated. So I'm going to just show you the steps that you're going to take to find the numerator and then the denominator, and that, that's something you'll be able to use um, hopefully a little bit more easily. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this number, uh, we're going to ignore the decimal, and we're going to ignore the repeating, but we're going to write down that whole number. So 4, 9, 8, 5, 6, 2, 8. Okay? And then the second thing that we need to do to find the numerator is subtract from that the non-repeating part. Okay, so this part right here that's non-repeating, we're going to subtract from this part. So that is 49,856. So 49,856. 8 minus 6 is 2. I'm uh, going to have to borrow there. There's a 5. 12 minus 5 is 7. I'm uh, going to have to borrow here. That's a 4 now. 15 minus 8 is 7. Uh, can't do 4 minus 9 either. That's now 7. 14 minus 9 is 5. 7 minus 4 is 3. 9, 4. And that is how you find your numerator, okay, or your top number. So remember, we're, we're turning these into fractions. And so top number, numerator, that's, that's how you find it. You take the whole, the whole thing, and then you subtract the non-repeating part out. So 4935772. Uh, that is 4,935,772. And then to find the, so that's the numerator, that's the top number. To find the denominator, you're going to find the place. So this is the tens place, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands, the millions, the ten millions. So we're going to start with our with ten million. One, two, three, four, five, six. The ten millionths place. Uh, there you go. Ten millionths place. Okay, and then again we're going to look at the part that doesn't repeat, and we want to know the last digit the location of the last digit that doesn't repeat. So this is tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands place, hundred thousands place. So the hundred thousands place. From that ten million, we're going to subtract one hundred thousand. Okay, so zero minus zero, that's a zero, that's a zero, that's a zero. Zero, zero, and we're going to make that a 9. 10 minus 1 is 9 and 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 1 there. So 9,900,000. And that's what's going to go in your, that's how you find the denom denominator. 9,900,000. 1, 9 million. Okay. 9,900,000. So just a real quick recap. You take, to find the numerator, you take all of the digits. If it writes another 2, 8, then you're going to stop there. But you want all of the digits, that inc including what's going to repeat, and that you're going to take that and put that here. From that, you're going to subtract the non-repeating part. So that 4, 9, 8, 5, 6 didn't repeat. Okay, so we got the 2, 8 repeating, but not this part. You're going to subtract that from there. That is your numerator. And then you're going to find the place. Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions. Okay, so you're going to write ten million because it's in the ten millionths place. And then again, the non-repeating part, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. You're going to subtract that from the ten million. You're going to subtract a hundred thousand, and that gives you nine million nine hundred thousand. And I'm sure this repeat this reduces. But if I ask you to do anything, I don't want, I don't care if you reduce this, okay? Especially if it's something this big. If it's something that's maybe like 25 out of 100, I might ask you to reduce. But if it's something this big and ginormous and overwhelming, 
um, just leave it in that form, and that's fine, and that will be the right answer. Uh, I hope this helps. Um, those are the general rules. Remember, your repeating part might be somewhere else, and so you have to kind of keep in mind the general rules. Uh, but that will do that. And I'm going to put one more kind of smaller example up just to show the general rule. Okay.